Hey, phone sites users. So I'm sure you've seen landing pages before where they're pretty long and they have a lot of uh, buttons on the page where if you click on it, it's going to make you jump to a different section of the page, right? So I'm going to show you how you can make um, several buttons on your page if you have a lot of copy on it, a lot of text, have them all jump down to the, the form block. And even and that, that goes for even if you have a bunch of text down below your form and you want them to jump back up. So, for example, like if you're talking about like all oh, their, their pains and so forth up here and really honing in on that and then um, trying to get them to go through your call to action to jump down to the form and submit that. But then at the very bottom, if you decided to put more about like who you are. Um, and then also maybe like a bunch of reviews and testimonials are down here and so forth. You'll still want them to jump back up to the form, right? Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to leverage the new button block that we've added into phone sites. And then you're going to have, um, so a little bit of coding here to be able to make that button jump back up. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of coding too, to have even like an image jump down to the form. So for example, like this image here has what looks like a button in it, right? So if I didn't make this clickable, someone tries to click in this, then if they have no idea that there's a form on the page, they might think that the page is broke and they might bounce off the page. So I can show you how you can make that clickable so that way it jumps down to the form. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna hop back on over to phone sites. And uh, instead of putting that image in via a image block, what I used was a text block here. I used a little bit of code. And so all I did was I found the URL for the image itself. And if you're not quite sure how to do that, uh, you could go into an image block and go into the gallery. And then let's just pick this random picture here, this Toledo mud hen. And then when that's finished loading, then you just right click in here and then you get copy image address. So you can copy that in and then go back. You actually don't need to insert this or anything. You just need to copy the URL, go back, and you're going to insert the URL into your text block. I'm going to go ahead and close this image block because I don't need that. I just needed to use this to, to get the image. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go back to the text block. Where was I at? Right here. So you're going to paste that URL in here, and then you're going to put um, uh, the, the less than symbol and then IMG space SRC equals double quotes. And then after your very lengthy URL here, put in double quotes again, and then the greater than symbol. Okay, so that inserts that image into a text block. But in order to uh, make this clickable, what you're going to need to put in here now is a little bit more coding. So just to make this a little bit easier to read, I'm going to uh, hit my inner key a couple times, put that down there. So I'm going to I'm going to type in less than a oops, a href, and then equals double quotes, and I want to put in here the pound sign, and then there's a symbol that I'm going to have to give you in the post. It's called triple bar. That might be a little hard to see. Let me blow this up a little bit. So um, here we go. So you can see right here, this funky little symbol here, it's called the triple bar. Uh, it's used in math and, and science and so forth. But anyways, that, uh, that symbol there, that is key because that is associated with what we have for the, the form block. So in order to make this image jump down to the form block when someone clicks on the image, um, we need to basically use this, this anchor uh, that we have in place for the form. Um, <clears throat> And the symbol that we're using is just this this triple bar. Now that's really bothered me with the font sized or the, the page blown up like that. So I'm gonna just put this back down to 100. percent Okay, and then after the triple bar, which again I'm gonna give you that in the post, you're gonna to need to put in double quotes and then the greater than symbol. And then I can get rid of these extra spaces because I don't need all that. It's not necessary. And then just close off this ahref tag. So at the very end, after your image. Uh, um, tag that you got in here. So we're going to put in less than and then forward slash a and then greater than. And so that just closes off the, uh, the opening tag that we have, have here for the URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And now 
Um, let's go ahead and test that out before I go ahead and adjust the, the buttons here. So I'm going to go back over here to my page, refresh. And I would expect now that I've refreshed that if I uh, click through this image here, it's going to take me down to the form. So let's try that. So there we go. So it, it hops down to the form. Okay, cool. So let's go back to phone sites. And now what I promised you was I'm going to show you how to do this also for buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, pound sign and then the triple bar down here again. I'm going to put this into the link field. And that's all you need to put in here. Disregard the warning that the page is giving you in, in terms of telling you that you need to have um, <clears throat> HTTP, HTTPS, or tell. Uh, it'll be fine. We'll survive. So I'll scroll down the page. I think I had one more button on here, maybe two. Let's see here. Maybe it was just two. So pound sign, triple bar. Let's save this and then let's test it out. So I'm gonna refresh this. All right, so this should still work. Yep. Now, if I want to hop back up the page, now this is just gonna take me to the form, right? I only set it to go to the form. I didn't have it to go all the way to the top. Uh, let's go ahead and test this one. Submit that, takes me down to the form. And if this was really, really long down here, this is probably not gonna actually move anything because I probably don't have enough content in here between the, the form and the submit, but let's try it anyways. Yeah, so I don't have enough content in there. It's not really uh, making a difference, but just to prove my point, let's go ahead and let's add a, a whole bunch of content in here. Let's just be a little conservative here and just add in a whole bunch. Okay, let's select save. Let's go back up here, refresh the page. And so now when I expect to have read all of this, uh, if I click on submit, this should take me back up to that, the form. There we go. Perfect. All right, cool. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But the trick here is just knowing that you need to use this funky little triple bar symbol here to tell the page to jump to your form whenever someone clicks through the button here, or if you have like an ahref tag set up here. Now, just something I wanna warn you to is, I'd really only use this option of jumping around the page if your page is really lengthy and you have a bunch of buttons on here and you want them all to go to the, the form. Uh, I would not use a lot of buttons on the first page where you're collecting information, where the buttons might be leading to some other page. Because uh, then you're going to have people that bounce and you won't collect their contact information. Let me know if you have any questions.